Hi guys, my name is Marissa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make carrot cake muffins. The very first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube was showing how I make a muffin recipe. For today's recipe, I'll be starting with one ripe banana. I'm going to go ahead and open this banana and then smash it into my mixing bowl. I like adding bananas because it adds extra sweetness without adding extra refined sugar. I'm using honey in this recipe, but I'm only going to be using a quarter of a cup, which if you look at some muffin recipes, they have up to a cup, sometimes more sugar in them. That's just a lot to be giving to our kids. So I've tried to find that balance of adding fruits to muffins in place of sugar while still making them taste like it's a treat. Next, I'm gonna be adding two eggs. What are your guys' thoughts on eggs? I have read so many different things about organic eggs and cage-free eggs and free-range eggs and pasteurized eggs. There, there's so many different options and everything that you read on the box seems really enticing like oh yeah i definitely cage free i definitely want that but then you read something that says that that's just buzz and hype and doesn't really mean anything so i try to get fresh local eggs when i can because they really do taste better but i'm curious what are your guys' thoughts on eggs comment down below what type of eggs you buy and if you think that there's any validity in buying something that's more expensive Here's another thing that I am adding in lieu of sugar. I have, normally I would use just like a jar of applesauce. I don't have any, so I'm using one of my kids' applesauce pouches. So I'm going to put, this is 3.2 ounces of applesauce. I just squeeze the little pouch in here. If you do have homemade applesauce or if you have just jarred applesauce, obviously you could use that. We're trying to stay home because of the coronavirus. So at this point, I'm not going to the store for just applesauce when I've got a ton of pouches readily available. We'd be adding a third of a cup of avocado oil. Avocado oil is a great substitution to vegetable oil. It is just less processed. This is the brand that I get. I pick it up at Costco in these big jars. It's way more affordable to get this specific oil at Costco versus like a Whole Foods. They have it at Trader Joe's, but the bottles are a lot smaller and they're more expensive. Could add brown sugar or maple syrup. I prefer the taste of honey and muffins over maple syrup. And my brown sugar was pretty hard when I was looking at it in the pantry. So I decided to use honey today but often I'll use brown sugar. So you want a quarter cup of this honey. Should have done it. Normally I spray my measuring cup with oil before I put in the honey. But I am by no means any sort of culinary expert, so Maybe there's a correct order you're supposed to put these in. I don't know, I just kind of wing it and my kids always seem to like them, so. Now I am going to grate six baby carrots. Normally I would do just one carrot, but again, I don't have any and I don't want to go to the grocery store for carrots. So I'm just gonna grate these up. I had and grated the six baby carrots. It is a third of a cup of grated carrots. Now we're going to add our flour. I am using all-purpose flour today. Normally I would use bread flour for this, but they didn't have any bread flour in the stores. The stores aren't really limited on flour. I assume a lot of people plan on making things from scratch if uh, the coronavirus accelerates. So I'm guessing that's why there was such a limited amount of flour, but I will be adding one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm hoping that it doesn't change the recipe too much by using, I'm sure it'll be fine to use all-purpose flour, but because I normally use bread flour, I'm hoping that doesn't make a huge difference. 
You always hear that baking is such a science and that if you wing it, it's not going to turn out. That's not my experience. I am measure roughly and it's probably good enough. So my husband, on the other hand, is the type of person that's going to take the flour and like make sure it's perfectly leveled with a knife and he's getting exactly what the recipe calls for. He always gives me a bad time. He's like, did you literally just like kind of shake that off and dump it into something that you're baking? But that's how I do it. Now I'm going to add our other dry ingredients. A half teaspoon of baking powder. A half teaspoon of salt. A half teaspoon of baking soda. A half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, oven's done. Oven's ready. Okay, half teaspoon vanilla extract. Are you guys more in my husband's camp or mine? Do you measure everything very precisely when you're baking or do you just kind of go with the flow? <clears throat> okay, mix that together. I wanna make sure that that's really well mixed so that the leavening agent is evenly distributed. And then because this is carrot cake inspired muffins, I'm going to be adding a third of a cup of walnuts. You could add raisins to this, but my children are not keen on raisins, so I will not be putting them in this recipe, but you could also add an additional third of a cup of raisins to just give it more flavor. I bake all of my muffin recipes in this silicone baking sheet. It makes it so much easier for me to just push the bottom and pop the muffins right out. So nothing sticks to these and it was, this was not very expensive and it has made a huge difference in how my muffins turn out. I'm going to just spray the pan with avocado oil. I use a mini ice cream scoop to scoop my batter from my bowl into my muffin pan. Go ahead and stick these in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. Here are what your muffins will look like when they come out of the oven. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss when I upload. Bye. Pasteurized egg. Or a pasteurized egg. I use a mini muffin scoop to... Oops. I use a mini, a mini muffin scoop to distribute the, I use a mini muff I use a mini ice creams